Hello, I'm Brian Wargo from the Idealized Science Institute, and today we're very excited to launch our very first course on understanding electricity. Uh, it's foundational in science to be able to make models and provide explanations, and we hope that's what we're about to do. Um, there's this uh, conflation in education that coverage uh, equals knowledge, and that's just not true. And I'd like you to run a little experiment. If you've ever taken an e &M course, either in college, university of any kind, or graduate school, um, often when you ask people once they're done with these courses, what did you really learn? Usually they look a little befuddled and say, you know, we, we did a lot of mathematics and there was a lot of gamesmanship moving things around, but I really didn't understand much. And that's really what we're hoping to remedy. We're going for deep epistemic knowledge. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to, of course, use mathematics as we always have, but we're going to see if we can use simple items that everyone, including students, if they don't even have a teacher, can end up uh, finding using in their household. Uh, when we end up going uh, and needing something that's a little bit more uh, sophisticated than just aluminum foil or Cheerio on a thread, uh, we will hope, hopefully give a basis for understanding how that instrumentation works, how that equipment works. Again, we are out for deep epistemic learning, that intuitive nature that many of us have uh, about a ball rolling down a hill or anything else. How we're going to do that is we're still going to incorporate our quick quizzes, but now we're going to have timing. So if you're a teacher, you'll be able to see how do you incorporate these uh, seamlessly into a lesson. And of course, we want everyone to continue reading books. These are really important for understanding how scientists, engineers, mathematicians, technologists all work together in the real world gives you a basis of that nature of science. And we also uh, are hoping that everyone is eventually going to do a long-term project. We have those on our website, www.idealizedscience.org, and uh, there's plenty of examples. But as we go through these lessons, hopefully uh, we can birth some ideas of long-terms. Oh, I think uh, that's really interesting. I'd like to find out if I did this, what would happen. All right, uh, we understand that there's also engineers that are watching. We appreciate this, and many of you have commented on our quick quizzes that you wish you had a course like this. Well, here it is. So we're really uh, looking forward to going through this together. These lessons have been developed over the last 30 years. We've been carefully crafting. What is it that really targets um, that missing piece in our understanding? So um, hopefully you'll stick with us during this journey, and we look forward to seeing you there.